Hey, how's it going? This is Melinda and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be showing you some recent finds. I am in the state of Colorado. It's a really cozy day today. And recently I've just been able to find some records that sound absolutely phenomenal. Just great sounding records. Um, they're all very affordable and I just want to show them so that way when you are out and about if you happen to see these records in a record store pick them up most of these are very affordable and just sound fantastic so I recently did a video where I talked about Bitches Brew by Miles Davis the first pressing in my opinion sounded better than the second pressing well all of these records are reissues so, you know, I'm not one person to say a first pressing is always going to be the best. It just depends. In this crazy world of vinyl collecting, anything goes. Sometimes a reissue is better than an original. Sometimes the original is better than anything else. It just depends. It also depends on what you like, what your ears like to listen to. So everybody's going to have a different opinion. But I'm going to share with you what I think are some of the best sounding finds that I've recently picked up. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe. I would really appreciate your support. I also want to give a special shout out and thank you to Jacob at Rock Holy Records. He was kind enough to send this beautiful and comfortable t-shirt that I really love. As you can see it says Rock Holy Records on here. The back is really cool. It has his logo from his channel. Jacob in, from Rock Holy Records. I have been watching his channel since the very beginning and I think it's really cool. He's got really great, almost professional looking videos, but yet they're not slick. And Jacob speaks from the heart. He is a passionate vinyl collector and he has turned me on to so many uh, things that I wouldn't have otherwise known about or picked up. Um, if it wasn't for him, I would have never bought that Ozzy Osbourne box set that I absolutely love. Also, there was a copy of Billy Squire's Don't Say No from Intervention Records that he did a heads up on on his channel. I bought and it's mind-blowingly good. So I highly recommend Jacob and Rock Holy Records. If you're not already watching his channel, please do and subscribe. Thank you so much, Jacob. I love this t-shirt and I really appreciate that you thought enough of me to send it my way. Now let's go ahead and get on with the very amazing records I've recently picked up. First off is one that everybody has in their record collection, or most people do. If you don't, you should have it. It's Asia by Steely Dan. This is a killer record and this is just a classic from the 70s. It was recorded very well, so no matter what version of this you have, it's going to sound pretty good. But, you know, uh, early on in vinyl collecting, I picked this one up, just a really, just a very basic copy. Uh, but I love it, so when I saw the Mobile Fidelity original master recording version of it, I had to pick it up. I think it sounds absolutely wonderful. It is mind-blowingly good. Uh, if you look at the cover, because it's black, it's not in perfect condition, which is okay with me because I was able to get this record at a very affordable price. The vinyl was in exceptional condition. The cover... Because of the black, you know, it's just hard to get a black cover from something that old to still look really great. Vinyl, however, looks fantastic. You know, on this one, we've got classics like the song Peg with that signature guitar solo on here that is iconic. Josie, Deacon Blues, Black Cow, an incredible album. This next pickup has become one of my favorites. I play it just about every day. It is Gelt, uh, Gets Gil Barto, a fantastic record. This is the 33 RPM version. There's a 45 RPM version that I think would probably sound fantastic too. This is a killer sounding record. It's from the Acoustic Sound Series Audiophile Vinyl Reissue. And Stan Getz was a tremendous saxophone player. Gilberto 
was an incredible guitar player and he also sings on this album. We've also got a pianist named Antonio Carlos Jobin and this is fantastic. Y'all would immediately know if you heard it, the girl from Ipanema. Uh, not only does Gilberto sing on this and he sings in a different language and you know the first time I listened to this I had to kind of take that in. It was a little different to me. But Gilberto's wife also sings on a couple of songs, including the girl from Ipanema. And she's not a classically trained singer, but her vocals are just spot on fantastic. This is a great sounding record. The saxophone playing on here is so breathy and beautiful. I can't even imagine what the 45 RPM version of this sounds like because I love this 33 RPM version and they did a really cool job on here they've got this classic reproduction of the Verve rec record label so I I love this this is one of my new favorite records and I highly recommend it and you want to talk about sound quality it is through the roof on that one this next record I ordered immediately I was watching a channel called 1441 vinyl it's a brand new vinyl channel that I really love, I think is really great. And I'm gonna leave a link below to Jacob at Rock Holy Records and also a link to 1441 Vinyl, a brand new channel um, with a really great guy with a good personality. And he talked about this record. He said that this one is considered one of the best sounding records ever. It's Masterpieces by Ellington. And it is a classical record, 45 RPM 2LP set. This sounds mind-blowingly fantastic. I absolutely love it. On here we've got some beautiful piano playing, saxophone playing, clarinet, uh, some singing, very minimal singing, which, you know, I'm not a big fan of singing on classical music, but this is okay. It sounds really good. And I love it. Two LPs, 45 RPM. Um, I believe it's 200 gram vinyl. Look at this old retro Columbia label. Very, very cool. So I'm a huge fan of Duke Ellington. So when I saw 1441 vinyl recommending it and saying how good it is, uh, it's from Analog Productions, just a really quality pressing. You know, I had to jump on it and I'm so glad I did. Now this rec next record is a really cool MoFi original master recording, Jethro Tull, Broadsword and the Beast. And this is a good record. Uh, everybody knows Jethro Tull from Aqualung. That is one that's talked about here in the vinyl community a lot. This one is more of a heavy synthesizer sound. We were moving into the 80s. And they did a really good job by just bringing it to life. It sounds really, really good. And of course, Jethro Tull's signature flute playing sound is on here as well. This is a really good record by Jethro Tull and the MoFi pressing of it sounds wonderful. And I got another really great deal on this one so I couldn't pass it up. Here is the vinyl. So I love having this one. It's just another really great sounding record and the MoFi pressing is really not that expensive. The next records I just kind of lucked into. I went to a record store and most of these records are either out of print or on back order, out of stock. They go on Discogs or eBay for a lot of money and I was able to pay just the normal retail price for. Let me show you this one first. Miles Davis, Miles in the Sky, and this is the original master recording by MoFi, Mobile Fidelity. And this is a record that was kind of starting to go out of print just as I was getting into jazz music. So I almost missed out on this one. It is really killer. Miles Davis in a Silent Way is probably my favorite jazz record. And this um, one is before that one came out and you can kind of hear echoes of where Miles Davis was going. He was on an evolution of different sounds and just trying different things. So I really love having this one. This is a promotional copy. And a way you can tell this is a promotional copy is if you look here, uh, these are special limited edition, they're all numbered. This one's not numbered, there's no number. And that is how you can tell this is a promotional copy. And 
I was just really lucky enough to be at the right place at the right time and be in a store that had this for sale. And it is a 45 RPM 2LP set. Again, either 200 or 180 gram vinyl. I'm not really sure, but either way, it's very heavy, nice, sturdy feeling. So I really do love this record. It's a, a classic that I'm so glad to have. Here's another classic that is getting harder to get, and thankfully at that same store I found it. Miles Davis on the corner. And this is a totally different Miles Davis. It's not in a silent way or kind of blue. This is a 70s, funky, uh, just a jive, very cool record. You know, it, it really encapsulates the sounds of the 70s. And I'm a huge fan of the 70s. I grew up in the 70s, so I really love this one. Again, this is a promotional copy. It's not numbered. And on this one, they even slashed through the barcode. But you want to talk about a great sounding record. This one is the 33 RPM version. It's not the 45 RPM. And it is on a single disc. If you want to buy this one on Discogs or somewhere else right now, you're going to pay close to $100. Maybe they will bring it back in stock. I'm not really sure. But I didn't want to take the chance. Uh, and I was able to pay just the regular Mobile Fidelity record for it. And uh, here's another one. This is the final one I'm going to show by Miles Davis. And this is just a classic. It's beautiful. I want to make sure I pronounce it correctly. And I hope I do. Nefertiti, I'm sorry, let me try it again. Nefertiti, I probably have butchered the title of this record, but uh, I might not be able to say it, but I really love it. It's incredible, really a great sounding record. This one, again, 45 RPM, a promotional copy. It is not numbered, but it just absolutely sounds so good. Let me show you the label. This is probably what I would call more of a classic jazz. You know, On the Corner is more of a 70s funk. Miles in the Sky is starting to get a very tiny touch of psychedelia. This is still what I would consider in the classic form of a jazz record. Not the jazz fusion that uh, Miles gets into a little bit later on. But beautiful record. And if you see one, the mobile fidelity one sounds fantastic, but um, you know if you just see it, just pick it up. It's really great. Now this next artist is someone who is a little bit more modern, and I fell in love with his first record. It is in my top ten of favorite albums of all time. You know I don't say that lightly. I don't really get into new records. I'm very guilty of just sticking to the classics. But this guy has phenomenal music. Harry Styles. And I finally picked up this copy called Fine Line. It's his second album. Do I like it as well as his first album? Not yet. But, you know, this is more commercially popular. It's selling very, very well. I love this album. It's just that first album is in such high esteem for me. I don't know if this one will take its place. But it's really, really good. It's been out for about a year, so this is probably a reissue already. I'm sure this isn't a first pressing. It is a limited edition from Target, and I just decided to get the Target version of it because it's so pretty. And let me show you. It's a splatter black and white vinyl. And his music has been playing on the radio. Not that I listen to a lot of radio, but anytime I am listening to anything like that his record his songs show up uh, the song watermelon sugar adore you there's another one that's really popular too he it's a 2lp set uh, if you look carefully at the cover i kind of think lately from some of the wardrobe decisions he's making he's channeling david bowie a little bit to me david bowie is a one of a kind but i you know, I, I can see David Bowie wearing the outfit he's wearing right now. Don't know really where he's going with his fashion sense, but I really love his music. And of all the new artists and that have come out, I just really think he's fantastic. 
Now I'm going to show a classic band and what I think is the best way, the best listen to their music. I've been blown away by what I've been picking up from Analog Productions. Let me show you. Everybody knows most people are fans of The Doors. The Analog Productions 45 RPM versions of these albums are the best I've ever heard and I think that's pretty well known from most people here in the vinyl community. Um, I just think this is a fantastic sounding record and you get the most beautiful version of Riders of the Storm on here. LA Woman, Love Her Madly. I think this is a great record and I've never heard it better. And I have another copy of it at home that I'm probably going to be trading out because this is the best sounding version of this album I've ever heard. Uh, if you go on to um, the... I think you can buy these records at record stores as well as acoustic sounds. Uh, these are fantastic. Like I said, two 45 RPM vinyl records. I saw the LA Woman version of this talked about on a channel called The In Groove. I'm a huge fan of The In Groove. I watch that channel to find out what's new and what's coming out. He highly recommends this version of The Doors albums, and The Doors is his favorite band. So I took notice when he said that. And after buying LA Woman, I was so impressed, I went ahead and picked up Strange Days, just an incredible, I wanted to make sure, I thought it was Strange Ways, but it's a Strange Days, just an incredible record. There's a song on here really cool called Strange Days. Also, People Are Strange and Love Me Two Times. I just think this is a fantastic sounding record. Not only is this fantastic sounding, it is on a very heavy stock album, shiny cover, beautiful presentation. Let me show you the vinyl. Again, a heavy vinyl, absolutely gorgeous of strange days. Just beautiful. What a beautiful record. And also I picked up Waiting for the Sun, another great album by The Doors. I love the song, I Love uh, Hello, I Love You, I Love Love Street. The Unknown Soldier is pretty cool listening. Um, just really great stuff on here. Again, we've got a very heavy stock album cover, glossy, beautiful, and these are from Analog Productions. Um, if you are able to pick these up, they're absolutely fantastic. I am hoping to order all of them. I don't know if I'll be able to. Christmas is coming. Here is the vinyl. So those are pickups that I've recently acquired that sound absolutely wonderful. And I want to give a quick shout out also to Record Roller. They are, this is a product made by the makers of the Vinyl Vac. I'm a huge fan of the Vinyl Vac. That is how I clean all of my records. And this is another way to give records a really good cleaning in between plays. You know, you want to use the Vinyl Vacuum for deep cleaning, and this is a very good tool to use for maintenance. And if you go on Amazon, they're $29.97 right now, free shipping, free returns, and I think these would just make really great Christmas presents. So pick up a record roller, just an absolutely wonderful product made by the people that I love, Vinyl Back. I'm a huge fan of Vinyl Back. So anyway, that is my video for the day. Please let me know what you think, and I just appreciate your support. Please subscribe, and I will see you next time. And don't forget also, check, up, check out Rock Ollie Records, and also check out 1441 Vinyl, and give them a sub and say hello. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.